What's up? It's Chris from Stone Fox Media. Trying to bring you guys some quick news to help get you through your day. And apparently, Microsoft is trying to reiterate that there is no 24-hour DRM check-in. Uh, basically, this comes after a uh, Killer Instinct tournament uh, person came out. And while he's actually playing the game, it stopped and said, Do you own this app? Uh, if you have a game disc inserted now, there's no disc, uh, be sure you sign into Xbox Live. If you do not have the rights for playing it, you'll need to buy it at Xbox Live Store. There will be a link in the description to let you know where you can actually go and watch it as it happens. This is not made up. And it makes people wonder if DRM is still inside their shit. So Microsoft basically came out there and made a little statement. And their statement was, uh, as we have previously, as we said previously, there is no DRM check-in every 24 hours. The report says otherwise is accurate and false. Buying a game online makes it easy to play anywhere on Xbox Live, on, on the Xbox One. All you have to do is sign into your Xbox Live account and you are inter instantly authorized to play any game content, games, movies, or music that you have purchased on the Xbox. Uh, that uh, just takes a quick sign in, which connects makes it easier than ever before. Basically, uh, they got no real explanation for this. Okay, they try to come up with some other little quotes saying that uh, in the video I'm watching posted in your story, it does not look like the player was booted mid game. He was asked to connect to his Xbox Live in between rounds. How the fuck is that not DRM? This sounds like DRM to me. It just does. So, I am not the person who just goes off what people say, and I want to actually go ahead and try and recreate this. So, I will log into my Xbox Live today, I will play Killer Instinct, and I will unplug it, and in 24 hours, the bitch tells me that I need to log back in, and guess what? DRM is fucking in there. Just saying. Just fucking saying. I will bring you guys that tomorrow to let you know if that actually happens. You will have video evidence to prove if it happens or if it does not. Uh, moving on to some other news, uh, an EA basically was hit with a class action lawsuit over Battlefield 4. Uh, as recounted yesterday in the article, DICE and EA have been under heavy scrutiny since the launch of Battlefield 4. Many gamers have experienced more of their fair share of issues with the game. The title has suffered so heavily that DICE has been pulled from all other developments until it is up to par. We have heard from a law firm investigating EA and Battlefield situation on behalf of EA's investors. It now appears that a class action lawsuit has been filed against the publisher. The basis of the lawsuit is as follows. The complaint alleges that during the class period, defendants issued material uh, false and misleading statements highlighting the proposed strength of the company's rollout of the version of Battlefield 4 and, you know, all of its component Battlefield 4 video game series. Uh, further alleges that on November 15th, the day Sony released its new PlayStation 4, uh, it was disclosed that the players at Electronic Arts were being subjected to multiple glitches and significant crashes when attempting to play the Electronic Arts titles on the PS4. So basically everyone's pissed off, the investors are mad, they hype the game up to be perfect and awesome, and it really speaks volumes to what people go through every day. Okay, you buy a brand new game, you want to play your brand new game, but when as soon as you plug that bitch in, you need updates, you need all this extra shit. Not like before, and I can give Nintendo a lot of credit for this, Back in the day, you buy a game, you put it in, and it fucking works. You play your game, you're enjoying it, it's over, it's done. No, now they just release games and say, oh, we'll fix that shit later on. That's not fucking good. People hate that shit. Why can't you release a completed game? Y'all should make every map pack free. You should make everything fucking free for this fucking game. Okay, you just should. In the next Battlefield you come out with, that bitch should be about $10 cheaper because you fucked up. I'm not excusing it. I'm, I'm not. I'm not going to excuse it. Don't release games and then have it patch it later and say, well, we're going to release this game right now to make as much money as we can, but, you know, if it, it may take six to eight months to fucking fix it, then the game is not ready. This isn't like Call of Duty. Okay, y'all come out like every two years. You should have this shit fixed by now. Uh, I wanted to bring you guys uh, some more updates on this whole entire YouTube content ID thing. And it's really pissing a lot of people off. And YouTube has apparently made a reply to it. They have made a response to this bullshit. Although when I call, there's no one to fucking call because they don't have customer service. So here's their fucking response. Uh, hi from YouTube. Uh, you might have heard or uh, been impacted by the increase of copyright claims made on videos over the past week. We're getting in touch to explain what's happening and uh, how you can give back to creating and monetizing your videos. Content ID is YouTube system for scanning videos of copyrighted content and is giving content owners choices over what they want us to do with them. Last week we expanded the system to scan more channels including those affiliated with multi-channel networks and as a result some channels including many gaming channels saw claims appear against their videos 
from uh, audio or video copyright holders. Keep in mind that the video may contain uh, multiple copyright works of any kind which may be potentially result in a claim. For example, a record label may own the music in a game or video, and a music distributor may own the game soundtrack, or a game publisher may own in-game cinematic content. Uh, also online, rights are also uh, often resold to companies like music labels and uh, uh, aggregators or whatever the fuck that shit is. Uh, while you may not be, we may not recognize the owner, that does not necessarily mean that their claims are invalid. We're deciding what to do. When your claim is made, you'll see what claim is, you know, what content is being claimed, who claimed it, what type of claim it is, audio or video, and you can play back the part of the video that you, you know, that the video was matched, and we want to make it easy as possible for you to act on content ID claims, and you found out that all your next steps, dispute options, and troubleshooting resources are here. Okay, basically, it's all your fucking fault. We're not going to do shit. We're not going to apologize. We're not going to say that people that upload their own games that they created themselves get copyright flags because if they ask themselves for permission to use their own shit, they're not going to apologize for that. They're going to say it's your fault for using your own shit. Again, I, I go back to what I said in my other video where I talked about it and I said all you guys need to do if you find a content claim or a copyright claim against the people's shit and it's like a five second sound, sound bite in the background or a ringtone from a fucking video for a fucking whatever the fuck you call it, a cell phone or whatever, a ringtone comes in like, oh shit, let me turn it off real quick. They then own all of the fucking music. They own the whole entire video. I said if, they, if that thing happens, then give them a portion of the actual video. The whole video should not belong to the people who appeared for maybe a, a tenth of a second. In what world would that ever work? Now I'm not defending people that steal all people's stuff and I'm not you know defending people who just blatantly copy shit. Who just blatantly copyright and fraud people's shit and upload movies and all kind of real fucking shit that they have no right to fucking do. I'm talking about the people who do something and then every now and again some little tiny slip up happens. I'm talking about those people. People who have to change their whole entire lives. A lot of people say go get a job. Go get a fucking job. YouTube is a job. People put in 80 hour plus weeks on these videos. It's not something people do in 15 minutes and I said that before. Okay, but I'm not going to go into all that. I just want to bring you their response, which is basically a generic computer generator response that is basically, fuck you, fuck you, have a nice life, fuck you. And that's all the news I got for you guys today. Like, subscribe, follow me on Twitch, Twitter. Thanks to all my subscribers, you know, for help, helping me get to this next level. I am seriously looking at the whole entire cable network, and I'm getting a lot of emails and stuff from people saying, do it, do it, do it. And I was just talking about it today. I am seriously looking at doing this. So thank you guys. I appreciate you. I'll holler at y'all later.